Okay, if you're just tuning in, it's because I forgot to push record. So, um, take a second, pause the video. You can <coughs> jot down number three real quick and I'll scroll up to number one and then I'm gonna continue with number five. Okay, so push pause if you need this. Okay, and then same thing here. Okay, take a second, push pause because I'm gonna keep going and then I'll go to number five, okay? <coughs> Okay, hey, number five, we're gonna use our formula. Negative, parenthesis, B over two times our A, and our A is negative one. Oh, shoot, this should say A. Okay, and so it's gonna be negative. What's our B? Negative eight. Negative eight. Make sure you put that double negative on there. Okay, over two, and our A, what is our A? Negative one. Negative one. Okay, I can promise you, if you are not typing on your own today, you're not going to get it. Okay, you have to be typing when I'm typing. Okay, even if Jermaine says, oh, the answer is four. That's fine, keep typing. Okay, everybody types at different speeds and that's totally okay. If you're not typing, you're not going to get it. Okay, so on, look on your calculators. You should have three negatives used. Okay, and so what did you get? Negative four? Okay, so that's our first part of our vertex. We know it starts at negative four. Okay, now for some of you guys, this might be a little bit easier. Okay, so right here, and I can't like super zoom in, but right here, you can just do on your paper parentheses negative four parentheses negative four. Okay, now I know you can't see that, but okay, so you can just do that. You don't need to write it all out, okay? Um, so, but if you do wanna write it all out, it's gonna look like negative, negative four squared minus eight times negative four minus 19. Okay, there's a lot of negatives and parentheses going on. Tight, slow. So we're going to go to negative four, negative three, and put our dot. Okay. Are we going to go up or down? Down. 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 Why? Uh, well, yeah. Well, no, I could go up. Because the A, because the A is uh, negative. Negative. Okay, good. So we know our graph is going to open down. So we're going to go down one over one. Okay. Huh? Okay, last one. What's our formula to find the vertex? Uh, negative, uh, negative B over 2 times A. Good. 2 times our A. What is our B? Negative 2. Negative 2 over 2 times our A. What's A? Negative 1. Negative 1. Okay, type 
negative one. Okay, so where do we put that negative one at? In the first coordinate, okay? And yes, we do put it in the X. Okay, so it should look like right here there's an X and right here there's an X. Okay, so it's going to be negative, negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 plus 3. Okay, these are not that bad if you like to get the typing right. Okay, that's the longest part. Okay, so that's why I said if you're not typing today, you need to be, you're not going to get the hang of it unless you're typing yourself. They're really not bad. Okay. Okay, what'd you guys get? Good. So at negative one, four, is this gonna graph gonna open up or down? Down. Down. So we're gonna go down one over one. Okay, now see how this says like four and then three point five and three? Make sure you're going one. Okay, like one full one. Okay, so we're gonna go down one over one. Okay, you guys only have four to do. Okay, get them done. If you need some help, you can't get, like Timmy's calculator kept saying error. That means you're missing a negative somewhere that you need one. If you can't figure it out, please let me know, okay? You've got to type on your own though. You're not gonna figure it out. Okay, you cannot use your phone calculators for these.